All right, peace and love. I send your way this day from the IXQ Top Team Diamond. So before you join IXQ TV, make sure you watch this video. And this is not just uh, one of those titles to get you to click to try to trick you into something. Because what I'm going to do today is something I, I really think is going to be the difference from you, you know, joining a team. When you join a team, what makes a great team? Support. And what I'm going to cover today and this video will probably make the difference between whether individuals lock arms with you because I'm going to give you a very detailed walkthrough of the IXQ media application that we're putting on fire sticks. Now, why am I making this video? Of course, we have URLs that people can watch, you know, Ask Media uh, on their iPhones, their iPads, their cell phones. That's cool, okay? That, that's very cool, and I love the versatility of the app. But 99.9% .9 of the people that are going to really join this wants this application on a smart TV, okay? Now, we are in the beginning stages of IXQ, so this is only going to get better, okay? So I'm going to go over a lot of hangups that individuals are having when they connect the IXQ TV app to the smart TV because there's a difference from the IXQ smart TV application on the Fire Stick, okay, and the IXQ TV URL that you watch on your mobile phone and your iPad and your computers, all right? So what I want to do now is just show you, we're going to navigate through each feature. I'm going to give you a breakdown of each little tab that you see over on the left-hand corner, okay? Because the first time you use this, I guarantee you, you're going to get hang, hung up and you're going to be calling your upline saying, hey, man, I thought you said it had this and that and this and that. And because it's, it's, it's a little different, but it's a very powerful application and it's going to only get better. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give you the basics. I'm using a little remote control, okay? And all I'm doing now is going up and down. And as you can see, it's navigating on the left-hand side, up down okay see this application is totally different from the url that they send you in your email so the first one we're going to start on is the live tv and this is like the main i would say course of the app so what i'm going to do is click this center button and i'm going to go into that main tv now this is where a lot of people get hung up now look over in the far left hand corner where it says united states okay that's where you always start off all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go upward so you see i'm going up so you see how it says korea uh telugu i can't even say that telugu okay scandinavia i'm just pushing up I can't even pronounce some of these. So that's very positive because we're an international company, okay? Uh, Bengala, all right? So I'm pushing up India, Pakistan, uh, Punjabi. We're just going to keep going up. Now, here are your premium movies. So it's, this is the beginning, so things are kind of scattered, okay? So that's your premium movies. This is your match center, which we're going to be going over. This is French, okay, Arabic, and now we're back to the United States, okay? Now, most people will stop there, but I want to show you something real fast. We're going to keep going. This is Canada, United Kingdom, Ireland, favorites, Portugal, Germany, Spain, okay, Latino, Italy, sports, Filipino, okay, Caribbean, Music videos, 24-7 movies, 24-7 kids, 24-7 TV shows, and now we'll just stay back to the United States. So let me use the United States for an example, okay? Because I'm from the United States, 
So I'm biased. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I'm going to click on the right button on the center of the remote control. And as you can see, now it takes me over one spot. Okay, this is where a lot of people get hung up. So I'm going to go back and you can see it's the first on the left. When I move over, okay, now I'm into the channels in the United States. Okay, so I can go up. I'm not going to go on any channels for copyright versions, but you can see in the United States, we have Los Angeles, Arizona, as you can just see some of NBC, New York, Milwaukee. Okay. So take the time and scroll through all of the content before you call your sponsor and say, Hey, you told me it had this and that. A lot of people don't even know all of these uh, channels and stations are inside of the app. Okay. So I'm not going to scroll up and down and right and left to show all of the channels. That's not what this is about. We have a printout about all of the channels. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push the back button, which is over here. Okay. Now I'm going to get you out of this mode because a lot of people get stuck. Now, how do I get back to the main menu? Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the back button, okay, which is the button right here. I'm going to go hit it one time, and if it disappears, this is why I got caught up. Now I'm going to hit the back button up here one time, and it'll bring the menu back up, okay? You'll be surprised how, you know, different strokes, different folks, but I had a lot of people tell me, the app is broke. I can't get back to the main menu. This is a different language. This app was developed and created by the company. So the functionality is a little different. Okay. So now why is this important? So as you can see, we were in the United States, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the TV guide. Now, because we clicked on the United States in the live TV section, the TV guide, as you can see, will be the United States. As you can see up top, it's the United States TV guide. Okay, that's just the way this app works. So you have all of the channels, I'm not going to scroll through them, for the United States. Is everybody with me so far? Okay, so now I want to get out of the TV guide. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button over here, which is the back button. Okay, now I'm gonna hit it again so because so, so you can see this little pop up will pop up. Now we can change the categories of the TV guide by simply scrolling right down and picking another. Uh, country or you guys with me, Korea or this United States regional. These are TV shows. This is kids. So these are movies. So let's let's just go to 24-7 uh, movies. Okay, so when I click that, the TV guy changes to 24-7 movies. See, the hang up was individuals were calling saying, hey, dear, I didn't see such and such and such on the TV guy. Because there's different categories. So let's move it back again. And this will pop up. Okay. So let's just say there's no sports in 24-7 movies. Are you guys with me? So what we will do is we will keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm just pulling down. Okay. But keep going, keep going, keep going. Korea, United States. Because it's a lot to this, ladies and gentlemen. Caribbean, Filipino. And as you can see now, there is sports. Are you guys with me? So I'll just click the center button. And now we have all of the sports on the TV guide. Now, this is the way my wife likes to watch cable. This is what people are used to when they watch cable. So that's why I'm making this video for our team. So when you're giving out your free trials, okay, a lot of people are going to want the fire stick, especially in the beginning until we get the app developed to where it will run like a normal app on a smart TV, which is doing now, but it's going to only get better and better. Okay. So I wanted to show you this part and we'll just go hit the back button one time and then that menu will pop up. Okay, so you can go to all of your channels right from this menu and work with the TV guy. Okay, does everybody get that so far? Okay, so 
if you that's your sport, okay? Let me show you another one. And it stops at Germany. Okay, so this, this is self-explanatory, right? This is self-explanatory. Okay, so now what happens is when I back out of this one, so I'm going to back out, right? And now I'm back to the main menu. Okay, so, so far we covered the live TV, okay? We covered the TV guide, okay? So now we want to come down to the catch-up feature. And, and ladies and gentlemen, this is one of my favorite features out of the whole app because I got a lot of things going on and very rarely do I get a chance to just watch what's regular TV when they come on at the regular times. So the TV catch up is like a built in DVR. Okay. That allows you to watch movies. Now, remember whatever I clicked on in the live TV section is going to pop up on the catch up. So we're going to go into the catch up menu by just pressing the center button. Okay, and now we have that same menu over to the left. So it starts off on Portugal, Ireland, United Kingdom. So we're going to come to the United States because I'm in the United States. All right. So we click on United States and these are all of the United States. Let me move the camera over just a little bit. The quality is bad because I'm recording my TV, but you guys will get the, 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 the hang of this uh, just by seeing this video. So that's all of your channels in the United States, okay? So let me just use Bravo as an example. So now I'm going to hit the center button here and I'm going to click on Bravo. So what's so cool about this application, I can go back, okay? This is Sunday. So today that I'm making this video is the 22nd, all right? So let, let me show you an example. Let me just show you what happened yesterday. I was flying all day yesterday, so I missed... Friday's TV shows. I missed everything on Bravo. So I'm just going to hit the center button. And what this app will allow you to do, as you can see, you can see everything that happened from 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., okay, on previous days that you missed. And this is just unprecedented from any of the other applications that I use. And I'm making this video because this app is so complex. And without this video, you are just lost, okay? So this is another great feature. And it, this will do this for every, um, what word I want to use, every category on the application. So you can catch up. It has a built-in DVR that goes back and lets you watch the movies throughout the week that you miss. So it's no stress, okay? So when I want to get out, how do we get out? Okay, let's let's do some uh, recaps. How do I get out of this menu? I simply, I can move it back over this way. And then I'm just going to click the back out one time, right? And if I click it again and the menu disappears, what happens when the menu disappears, right? You don't click this back out button twice because if you do, it's going to ask you to leave. Okay, so we're going to go back to cancel. So what do we do to get the menu? Yes, the top back button, which is right here. I'm going to click that one time and our menu will pop back up. Okay? So that is the TV catch up. Okay? Is that easy enough to understand? Okay? It works with all of the channels. When you click on catch up, you'll get a menu and you just go to the channel that you want to watch in the catch up. All right? All right. The next one is one of my favorites and it's the match center. And the match center stands, it's really uh, based around sports. This is all your pay-per-view. And I really love this one. So what I'm going to do on this one is, let me see something. I'm going to come to match. Uh-oh. See, even I'm screwing up. So let me come back to the match center. Because I got a big fight that I want to watch tonight. So I hit the center. Okay, and that's my menu. So all I did to get, let me, I'm going to move it back over. All I did to get that screen to pop up over there, right? Let me go back. Match. Nope, match. All right. So now I'm in match. And all I did to get that little screen to pop up was I just pushed over one time up here. 
Okay, and it gave me the menu because it's categories. This is all your sports. I had a guy tell me, man, I bought the app from you, Derek, and there's no sports. There's no live sports. Well, here's all of your live sports, and you got categories. You got all if you just want everything to pop up, and you got categories. So tonight is the big fight. It's Saturday night. I want to watch Anthony Joshua uh, boxing match, so I just click on boxing. And I click the main menu, and as you can see, my Anthony, jo uh, Anthony Joshua fight is streaming. I, I love you guys so much. My fight is on right now, and I'm making a video, okay? And that shows you all of the live sports. This one ended an hour ago. This one ended. My fight is live now, and this is the boxing category. Now, how do we get out of here? A lot of people get stuck, okay? We just hit the back button. And we're out, push it one time, and we're back up to the menu, okay? So that's your match center. That's all your live sports. Now you know how to get there, and you now know how to find all of the categories. So we're just going to pull down one more time. This is your video on demand, okay? We click on it one time, and these are all of your movies like your Netflix. It's built in, okay? Now what I like about this, I like to go down to the main menu. I'm just pulling down. Click on the main menu. They're getting things ready for me. And that takes you back to the main menu. For legal purposes, I don't want to show all of the movies, okay? Because this is brand new and we don't want the haters to catch up with us and say, Hey, they're showing this and they're showing that. But we have a whole selection of movies and it's pretty, pretty good. I'm going to pull down. And your settings, we're just going to go through the settings real fast. You got your account information. Make sure you have the current version of the app, okay? You can check here for updates. You can log out, okay? And why is this log out feature important? Um, let's just say you give away a free trial and the person tells you, hey, this trial you gave me isn't working. Well, you can log out of your account. And put their trial information in your account to check to see if indeed the account is working. I'm from Detroit and we got people that want two or three free accounts. You guys know how it goes, okay? So this is the enabled categories, which shows you the categories that I was showing you guys. Very apparent, uh, imperative that those are on, okay? Use all available sources. Show ended events for the match center. I like that. Send the log. Server settings, we have different servers, okay? So, for example, if a big fight is on tonight and I'm on a slow server, if, if, your, if your device keeps uh, buffering, you can switch servers, okay? Um, what else? Um, sort by channels by name. Uh, a lot of this, I don't even know. EPG settings, the size of the main menu, okay? Stop video playback on main menu. Main menu icon scales, you can make them big or smaller. You can even change the default players, okay? New style, auto start last channel, show debug overlay. So this is just very, very, very detailed. It's a very, very detailed, awesome, amazing, reliable front runner of the streaming services. My name is Derek Dunlap, the Positive Marketer. If you're looking for a great supportive team to help you not only build with us, but to show you step by step how to get all of this set up, we are the team, the top team. There's a link in the description box if you're looking for the fastest growing team in IHQ TV. It's us. Click on the link. And I'll be more than happy to send you a, a nice welcome email and to keep you plugged in on what's going as far as the growth of the new IHQ TV. Peace and love. I send you a way to stay powerful, positive people. And I'll see you on the next video. Enjoy the application.